I forget exactly what episode they were introduced, but I've waited at least 30 episodes to see Shiro Torizawa finally play a full match in action with Ushijima with everything. What's up, you guys? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Haikyuu Season 3, Episode 1. I am super excited for this. Last season, uh, this one's called Greetings. Last season, last episode, we ended off with Hinata claiming to Shiro Torizawa or Ushijima specifically that, look, we have grown from the concrete into this ripe fruit that you were saying is not possible. So let's do it. Let's beat you. A rivalry is now born, which we have 17 plus rivals out there. So I love it. But uh, I did end up watching the Alba Josai ending right before this. So real huge shout out to everyone on Patreon who commented that. Um, it was just the same ending from the last episode of season two, but just from the perspective of Alba Josai. And I just loved it so much. It was so heartbreaking to see how sad they were. They went out to eat as well. They got some ramen, but they ended it on such a, a good note, especially with Iwaizumi and Oikawa that I just... I love Iwaizumi as a character. Like he's so, he's not cold hearted. He's just a tough dude. He's just a manly man, you know, but he's definitely a heart of gold. Like the way he stopped Oikawa from attacking Kageyama earlier, he's got a right head on his shoulders. He's easily one of my favorite characters. And he was saying like, it's an honor to have been your partner throughout this, even if we end up on separate teams. I just love them as a pair. They really are nasty. And then it showed the little flashbacks of them when they were kids, man, and how they grew up. Like, I, we knew they were together from the beginning, but how they literally grew up playing volleyball together. They were just, man, they're so, that's so adorable. I am so ready for this episode. Remember, with the first and last episode of every season of every anime we watch, the full length, which is normally only available on Patreon, is available to all you guys. So click that link down below, get that free full length. If you guys enjoy that format, want to keep it for the future, get early access, all that jazz, maybe consider checking out the Patreon. Always is available. If you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys are currently not subscribed and click that bell so you guys always know when I post. And and then follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at Dapper Darius. Let's hop into this. Hi Q, season three. It's so good to say that. Episode one, greetings. The animation always snaps in the show. Someone tell me what studio. What studio does the animation for this? Because they're always they're never lacking. Look at that. That's why you got the help of your squad. Karasuno, the crows. A flock of crows together is very strong. This actually brings me back to the first episode when it was like he was talking about the tall womb looms in front of me and then it just showed a bunch of sneakers and now knowing that those sneakers and what the characters are behind them and how awesome they are as a team, you just gotta love it. Ooh, okay. The mountain transforming into the eagle that is Shiro Torizawa. Oh my lord. This is going to be an amazing. I love the spotlight shining on them. No focus on anything other than our amazing characters. I love the song right now. I love the end of Ooh, that flash. I love the imagery between these two teams. You could tell us focusing on that. The Eagles or the Hawks versus the fucking Crows. Love it. Even the credits are just flashed with colors of orange and purple. Yep, just like that. I love it. Oh, the light. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Michi Mia, all the other girls came to visit, came to watch. Certain victory charm. That's dope. A little good luck charm. Never hurts. Always appreciate it. I want to time skip 20 years in the future where Daichi and Michimiya's kids are the captain of the next volleyball team. They seem so cute together. There's going to be a lot of media coverage, a lot of people coming to see this game. Yeah, it's probably nerve wracking. I can already tell us about the Bikiyoko. Okay. So 
Oh my god, I'm actually rolling of laughter. That is goddamn hilarious. Oh yeah, me me too. I want those guys to be that there that way the entire time. Oh, are these his old homies from middle school? Before he went to high school from episode one, right? <laughs> yeah. They were OGs. I remember them, bro. Oh. Oh, I cannot. That's actually amazing to see them because they're going to be our reference for anyone who's forgotten since episode one. Thankfully, I'm watching this pretty concurrently. I know it takes a long time sometimes between episodes, you guys. I know. I'm sorry. But. For the most part, like I didn't have to wait a year, two years between seasons, whatever the wait was, you know, so I freshly remember a lot of the stuff that happened in season one. But for those who don't, we have our reference for the people who see, wow, this is how much growth these characters have had, not only mentally in their resolve, but also physically on the court. Like these are these these characters right here are us. I love it. They always do this before the match and I love it every time. Who is this? Don't tell me this is the neighborhood association team. Who is this? Hell yeah! On the Karasuno alumni cheer squad. These are my boys, bro. Literally been there from the jump. Hell yeah. There's so many people that we've met along the way. So many school members. We're gonna finally have our first audience. I saw this, so I caught him. Oh, it's Tsukushima's older brother. He wouldn't approve of him coming to watch the game, though, so yeah. They got cheerleaders. They got the thing down pack. They're set. They got a huge drum. They got a little beat going. Okay. I <laughs> know. I would be kind of... I'd be kind of shook by that, too. I won't lie. <laughs> They even have a, like an introduction chant, like, hello guys, welcome to being our opponents. What the hell? Ooh, we finally get a look at the whole squad. Oh yeah, multiple of them look nasty. Yes. Yeah, wow. I mean, there's a. It bounced off the floor up. That makes sense. That's what I was saying. Yeah, they did the same thing with Oikawa though. They acknowledged how amazing he is and then realized how much better they have to be to beat him. So they're gonna do it. That's what anime main characters do. Good. Oh, the right over when it's so close to the net is just beautiful. Straight down. He's he's fast. He's bouncy. Kageyama's nasty. Taichi. First year. Tsutomu was a first year. Wow. He's got that drive as well. Look at this little little mini rivalry. Here we go. The Miyagi Prefectural Qualifiers Boys Finals. Harasuno High School versus Shira Torizawa. All right, starting lineup. I love this. You know it's professional when they give you the starting lineup. Daiji! Woo! Daiji! Woo! Woo! Asahi! The man bun maniac! Woo! 
The crazy cyclone. I don't know what to call him. I'm trying to have a nickname for all of them. The king. King of the court. Like typical. I don't know. Typical Hinata. That's my boy. Look at him. Determined as always. Tsukushima. Hey. <laughs> Nishinoya. They even do the coaches. Yep. Come on, Takeda. Take your bow. All right, Ushijima, I'm gonna get some names here for sure. Starting lineup, Leon, Satori, Kenjiro, and that's Taichi, okay. Ayato. Tell me why the announcer saying this sounds like um the announcer from Greed Island on Hunter x Hunter. A five set, so it's a best of five. Yep, now it's just the best of five, so you need three. Makes sense. Oh yeah, it's gonna be insanely tiring. Uh, that's something understandable. I love the quietness. I was about to say, you could hear a pin drop. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to their names, guys. I'll let you know that right now. No, you do not. Hey, I know the first point is very important, very momentum building, stuff like that, but we've never gone against these guys. These guys are nasty. It's okay. We got to get a feel for them. <laughs> oh, that is a good, uh, good first episode into this. Let's hear this ending. So that was a fantastic episode for a, I, I could tell it was going to be, especially I, I'm almost positive. I'm not going to say I'm 100% positive, but because season three is only 10 episodes long, my prediction just as a general reactor's prediction slash with the way storytelling generally goes, especially in anime, which these 10 episodes are going to be us hopefully beating Shira Torizawa over five sets, which could easily take 10 episodes. And then season four is going to be nationals, which let me just let me just say this first off season four i can already tell you i'm gonna be in love with but i could totally see that going down which is why season three is only 10 episodes long i'm pretty sure and why the entirety of season one was called greetings getting us into this thing you know getting this game going because uh i can already tell you this this game this particular match slash season is going to be insane i love seeing the different personalities of our characters i love how how strong Shiro Torizawa is, but also not strong. Like they, they definitely have flaws, but they realize that and are knowledgeable of that. So because of that, they're able to work around them and hopefully minimize those as much as they can. Like they know their biggest strength is obviously their spikers, uh, Ushijima especially. So when it comes to any set, any bad receive, anything where they have issues, like th that's why he's your ace. He's the guy you rely on to get you those points. And he does it like he never ceases to make points. So what, where would they have any issue? You know, um, at that point, they just have to, to be decent slash somewhat proficient in the other categories of the basics, like receiving, setting, stuff like that, which there's no way they're not like they're nasty. You have to be to be able to uphold because like in, in this, it's not like certain things like Call of Duty where you can single handedly carry a team that you need to have a team to be able to win. If it was Ushijima versus if it was Ushijima and a bunch of five year olds, they wouldn't win. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, you know, that's just my point. So I definitely can see where it's going to be hard, but I can see the the point in which we can win i could see the possibility in which we can win but i can tell you it's going to be a hard fought match oh my this is going to be crazy i love seeing some of our team though so the starting lineup for them is tsutomo tsutomu which is the blue haired guy the first year trying to be the ace i like his determination and his personality uh taichi leon who looks like he's like a light skin like me I don't know, but you know, shouts out Leon, um, Satori, um, who is the red haired, crazy looking guy, um, Kenjiro and then Hayato. I might've messed up on some of the names. I'll just look at the wiki when I'm done editing these and while, or while I'm editing these, all that jazz, but a uh, fantastic episode. Like I said, getting us in there, this season slash match is going to be insane. I am very much looking forward to it. 
Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, you want to check out early access, full length, all that jazz. Check out that Patreon down below. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And then subscribe if you guys are new. Follow me on all my social medias. I'll catch you guys in this next one. Peace out, Napper Squad.